So when you're sitting in a room, um, you know, let's say the doors and windows are closed and it's a certain temperature, you put on a fan and you feel cooled down by sitting in front of it, even though the constant temperature of the room doesn't change. So I guess my question is, how does a fan turn hot air into cold air? Very good question. Without changing the temperature of the room. Oh, it doesn't. That's the best bit. In fact, um, it makes it slightly hotter. It does make it slightly hotter. So the um, the engine of the fan rotating, or the motor, I should say, rotating, is actually adding a little bit of heat into the room. But what's happening is that you have some sweat on your skin. And as the air is rushing over your skin, it's pulling off tiny little molecules of that water and turning it into water vapour. And in order to do that, it's got to break some bonds. And uh, in the process of breaking those bonds, it needs to grab some energy from somewhere and it takes that energy from your skin. So it cools down your skin um, and you sweat a little bit more, replace that water so that process can keep on happening as long as you're in the moving air. There's so you're a, creating your own cool. You're not, oh, it's, not right. the, uh, it's not the fan. No, that's right. It's the evaporation. Cool. But there is another effect. If you imagine that there's a river flowing flowing really quickly in the middle, you know, dangerously fast, and you look at the water flowing in the middle and you throw a, a stick there, it mm. just takes off. But go to the very edge of the river, just right near where you are, and you drop a stick in there and it just barely moves and then there's a series of steps as it goes faster and faster. In the same way, there's a layer of still air over your skin, which is so much hotter than the air two millimetres away. Mm. And if you blow that warm air away, which has been heated up by contact with your skin, then you get a, a feeling of cool again. I love that question. Thanks so much for the call, Kate. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. I Bye. cannot sleep without a fan in summer. I don't know how people can. Um, it is difficult because it's okay in the daytime when the temperature is, say, 30 and you can walk around lightly clothed. Mm. But imagine you were to stru strap onto your back in the daytime a really thick insulator like a mattress, mm. and walk around with it, True. you get really hot. <laughs> so at night you lay yourself down on this really good insulator. So, oh, Sam, that's how we can get fabulously wealthy. Bring in a range of beds where you've got a mesh, you're sleeping on a mesh, and then that way the air can get away and you don't heat up, you don't have an insulator. I thought that wouldn't be very comfortable though. Yeah, Isn't that what a hammock is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody else invented it. What is this hammock <laughs> of which you speak? <laughs>